Hello dear students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video of polynomials, we shall be taking question 8 of exercise 2.5. Now question 8 says factorize each of the following. So these are the 5 products which are given to us and we have to factorize them. That means we have to find their factors. Now if you observe there are cubes over here, right? So in every product we have cubes. So over here we are going to take help of cubic identities that is a plus b whole cube or a minus b whole cube, right? So now let us start with first part. Now in first part we have to factorize 8a cube plus b cube plus 12a square b plus 6ab square. So it clearly matches with our identity a plus b whole cube because a plus b whole cube is also giving us product a cube plus b cube plus 3 into a b in bracket a plus b. Now if you open it a cube plus b cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square. Now if you observe this exactly matches with the question 12 a square b 6 a b square right so it exactly matches with the question the product in the question and the i in the identity is exactly the same so we have been given 8 a cube b cube 12 a square b 6 a b square which we can write in the form of identity 8 now we know it is 2 cube right so we can write it 2 a whole cube b cube can be written as b whole cube right so over here if i say a is 2 a right a is 2a and b is b so accordingly first of all 12 and 6 out of this we can say 6 is common factor and a and b also we can take out common inside the bracket we are left with 2a plus b now 6ab is nothing but 3 into a into b which was given in the identity so and we know that 3 into a what is a? a is 2a, right? a is 2a and b is b. So accordingly, we have written over here 3 into 2a into b, right? So 6ab has been written in the form of 3 into a into b. Inside, we have a plus b, exactly the same as given in the identity and over here 2a whole cube plus b cube as it is right so once we have identified what is our a and what is our b we can say the factors are a plus b whole cube so 2a plus b whole cube and whole cube means what you are multiplying the base three times right so 2a plus b 2a plus b into 2a plus b you are multiplying 2a plus b three times right now in the second part we have the same terms 8a cube minus b cube minus 12a square b plus 6a b square only difference is with the minus sign okay in the first part we have all the plus over here we have minus also so clearly it will match the product which will we will get with the identity a minus b whole cube a minus b whole cube says that a cube minus b cube minus 3ab in bracket a minus b so now let us take the question, the product 8a cube minus b cube minus 12a square b plus 6ab square. Now 8a cube can be written as 2a whole cube, b cube can be written as b cube and further 12 and 6, the common is 6, we will take out that and a into b also is common, inside the bracket we are left with 2a plus b. So clearly in this product our a is 2a and b is b so identity says once you have identified what is your a and b you can simply say that our pro factors are a minus b whole cube yes over here we can split also 6 a b can be written as 3 into a into b right according to the identity it should be 3 a b and in bracket a minus b so that condition is also satisfied. So when we have identified what is our A and what is our B, we can say the factors are 2A minus B whole cube. Now whole cube is multiplying the base three times. So 2A minus B into 2A minus B into 2A minus B. So this is the answer. 
Now in the third part, we have been given product 27 minus 125a cube minus 135a plus 225a square. Now if you see there is a cube over here, right? Cube terms are there with the minus sign. So we shall be using identity a minus b whole cube whose product is a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b. So now see the question, see the product, we have to factorize it. It exactly matches with our identity. Let us see, 27 can be written as 3 cube, 125 is 5 cube. So we can write 5a whole cube. Further over here, 135 and 225, we can take 45 common, 45a common, a is also common over here. And inside bracket, we are left with 3 minus 5a, which is nothing but a minus b, right? And over here, this is our 3ab, right? So if you compare it with the identity, uh, a, I can say it is 3, and b over here is 5a, right? So accordingly, we can write over here, first is a cube, right? So 3 cube, then b cube, that is 5a whole cube, then minus 3 into a into b, and in bracket, a minus b. So once we have clear, uh, cleared that a and b are 3 and 5a, we can say the factors are a minus b whole cube, that is 3 minus 5a whole cube, which is 3 times multiplying the base, 3 minus 5a into 3 minus 5a into 3 minus 5a. This is the answer. That means the product has been factorized. We have found the factors. Now, similarly, in fourth part, we have been given the product 64a cube minus 27b cube minus 144a square b plus 108ab square, right? Now, there, is a, there are cube terms over here with the minus sign. So, we will use a minus b whole cube, which says the product is a cube minus b cube minus 3ab in bracket a minus b. Now, let us convert uh, the given question as per the identity. So 64a cube can be written as 4a whole cube, right? Because 64 is 4 cube. 27 is 3 cube, so we will write 3a whole cube. Now here we have to write a minus b, right? This is our a minus b. So accordingly, 4a minus 3b, you write first, right? And then you can identify what is what we can take common. Right, so that means 36 into 4 is 144 and 36 into 3 is 108. Right, so 36 is a number which is common which we can take it outside along with a and b. Now over here that means a is what? a is 4a and b over here is 3b. So accordingly, now see over here as it is 4a whole cube, 3a whole cube. Now 36ab can be written as 3 into a into b. What is a? a is 4a, b is 3b. And inside it, we have a minus b. So it exactly matches the identity, right? Now, when we have identified what is our a and b, we can clearly say that the factors are a minus b whole cube. So a is what? 4a. b is what? 3b. Right? So 4a minus 3b whole cube. That is multiplying 4a minus 3b three times, right? So these are the factors. Now in the fifth part, we are given the product 27 p cube minus one by 216 minus nine by two p square plus one by four p. Now clearly we have cube terms over here with a minus sign, right? In the product, we have cube terms with a minus sign. So isn't it identity a minus b whole cube? whose product are a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b. So again, we have to identify what is our a and what is our b. So if you compare this product with the identity, so 27 is 3 cube, right? So we can say 3p whole cube. Now 1 by 216 can be written as 1 by 6 cube because 1 cube and 6 cube can be written as 1 by 6 whole cube. Now you need a minus b inside the bracket. So clearly I can say because this is my a cube and this is my b cube. So I can say my a is what? 3p and my b is 1 by 6 in this particular question. So just write a minus b as 3p minus 1 by 6 and whatever extra is there. See 
we want 3 into a into b outside. So we can directly write 3 into a into b and we can check by multiplying each of these to see whether we are getting the same terms minus 9 by 2 p square and 1 by 4 p. Let us see whether we are getting 3 into 3 p into 1 by 6 and we have to multiply by 3 p. So we should get 9 by 2 p square right p into p is p square that we have got right now 3 will give you 2 over here right 3 into 3 9 9 by 2 p right so this is how we can check also similarly you can check whether 1 by 4 p is coming or not right now you have identified what is your a and what is your b so further the factors are a minus b whole cube so 3 p minus 1 by 6 whole cube the whole cube means multiply the base three times right these are the factors so this is it children hope you have understood all these five parts which were related to factorization of cubic polynomials thank you everyone have a great day ahead